Welcome back to and this guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to export your data from Notion. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Notion, I need you to click the Get Notion Free option. And from here, just to follow the on screen instructions, and you're good to go. Exporting data from Notion is a straightforward process that allows you to back up your information or transfer it to another platform. Now, the thing is, here in Notion, regularly exporting your data creates backups which can help prevent loss in case of accidental deletion or technical issues. Now, if you haven't already, just go to the left side panel of your dashboard and create a new page. For example, if this is your first time, working in notion okay so there's a lot of that you can do work from here now i'm going to change the cover and i'm going to upload and upload a file now here sharing is very easy because all i have to do or exporting your data is simple because you just have to go to the upper right corner where you can style export and more the ellipsis buttons the three dots and you have an option to export and obviously you have all of these formats you could choose the markdown and csv pdf html and csv as well you can have an option for the current view the default view include content everything no files or images you can also include sub pages create folders for sub pages for example i'm going to be exporting this as a pdf all right click on export what will happen is now you just have to select the file directory where you want to save the PDF and then that's basically it because exporting your data from Notion provides flexibility and control over your information enabling better management security and usability across different contexts and tools. Also, since we have already saved or exported the data from Notion into PDF, we have a separate video on how to share your PDF is a clickable hyperlink or add your pdf to your wix website or how to create a qr code for a pdf file you can also have an option to insert picture in microsoft edge pdf so there's we have so many tutorials about pdf here on andy's guide channel and that's it for today's video thanks for tuning into andy's guides if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to stay updated with all the latest content. And of course, we will see you again in the next guide.